What's up guys, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and today we have the Bighorn Armory Model 89. I've been wanting to shoot one of these for a long time. Bighorn Armory hooked us up and sent us this one over for us to try out. So before we go outside and shoot this thing for the first time and start destroying things, let me tell you a little bit about the rifle. So this is a lever action rifle and it's chambered in 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Your mag tube holds seven rounds and you load those in through this gate here on the side. This particular gun has an 18 inch barrel with a 1 in 24 twist. It has a black finish and you can see we have this real nice walnut furniture. You have a thick recoil pad and overall the gun weighs about 7 pounds and 10 ounces. I'm really excited to shoot this rifle. I love lever actions and I love 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. So this is probably going to end badly because I'm going to want this gun and then my wife is going to kill me. <laughs> so that's enough talking. You know a little bit about the rifle now. Let's head outside and get started. Okay, it's time to have some fun with the Bighorn Armory Model 89. It is super hot today, super humid. There's no good time to film today. I was gonna come out here earlier, but I mean, I just couldn't stand it. Uh, it's later in the afternoon, it's still just as hot and just as humid. <laughs> but we're still gonna have some fun. We're gonna start out, I'm gonna see where my point of aim is with this rifle. Have not shot it yet. I always wait till you are with me to take the first shots with a new gun. We have a paper target set up 25 yards down range. It was sent to us by Defense Targets, and we're loaded up with some Underwood ammo, 500 grain flat points. Let's see where we're hitting and uh, see how hard this thing kicks. That's pretty nice. Let's take a few more shots. I'm gonna go load back up. I'm gonna take a few more shots. Now I've got some Underwood ammo, 350 grain hollow points. This thing's got a really nice trigger. Seems like I'm hitting about where I'm aiming with the lighter 350 grain hollow points, and then I'm hitting a little low with the heavier 500 grain flat points, which that makes sense. So now let's set up some steel and scoop back a little bit. Okay, now we're back at about 50 yards. That's as far as we're gonna be able to go back today on the property we're shooting on. We have a ready ship target set up down range that was sent to us by defense targets, and we're loaded up with two 500 grain flat points and three 350 grain hollow points. That 500 grain flat point hit it a lot harder. Now let's just have some fun and destroy some stuff because I know that's what y'all really want to see. <laughs> so let's start out with some 500 grain hard cast and destroy this Xbox 360 that was sent to us by a viewer. I was not expecting that big of an explosion. <laughs> Here's a piece. There's the front. Other 
side piece. Just for future reference, Xbox 360s are not 500 Magnum proof. We have us a nice hole there, and uh, we blew right through that thing. <laughs> How about a watermelon? Now let's hit this watermelon with a 350 grain hollow point. <laughs> a little piece there. Oh, we shouldn't have shot that watermelon. That's a good watermelon. We shouldn't have shot that watermelon. That's really good watermelon. What else we got? Still pretty good. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. I don't want to get clay and watermelon on that rifle. Okay. All right. 25 pound block of clay. And now we're gonna hit it with a 500 grain flat point. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness well if I didn't need new clay before I definitely need new clay now <laughs> oh, good. That smells real good. okay now we're gonna shoot this cantaloupe with a 500 grain flat point it's a little bit overkill but why not Goodness. Okay, I got one more thing that I want to do. So we got this kiddie pool here. It's got about 15 gallons of water in it. We're going to take a shot at it and see if it'll catch a bullet. Okay, I'm loaded up with a 500 grain flat point. Let's see if this pool will catch a bullet. Okay, so we hit here, of course, and then we went straight through the pool and came out the back right here. And then the bullet continued on. I can see a fresh hole where the bullet hit. I went and I looked around and I can't find the bullet. I said I was done, but I lied. That's a lot of fun. Okay, just as I thought, I have fallen in love with this rifle and now I want one. <laughs> so you're probably wondering, well, what did I like about the rifle? Well, what didn't I like about the rifle? It functioned well, didn't have any malfunctions, you know, worked flawlessly, it's very accurate. Um, the loading gate, I like that. I'm not a big fan of the tube that comes out. You can put your ammo in, put the tube back in. It's one extra step when it comes to loading your gun. When I'm out hunting, I'd rather just be able to take some loose ammo out of my pocket and just start loading it in. I just prefer the loading gate 
You may not, and that's fine. That's just my opinion. That's what I like. You have a lot of space here in your trigger guard, and I like that because if it's cold and I'm hunting and I have on thick gloves, I don't have to worry about trying to shove my finger in there to pull the trigger. There's plenty of space here to do so. And while we're on the subject of the trigger, this isn't loaded. You see that? I do not know the poundage on this trigger, but it doesn't seem too bad and it's very crisp. And when it comes to recoil, well, when you're shooting a gun like this, regardless, you're going to have some recoil. kind of comes with the territory. But shooting this gun was very nice, and that's because of this thick recoil pad. I didn't have any pain or anything like that. It was very pleasant to shoot. I enjoyed shooting it. Probably a little too much. If I didn't have some self-control, I probably would have shot all my ammo today, <laughs> which I don't want to do that, because I'm going to be making a few videos with this rifle. Which that brings me to today's question. If there's anything specific you would like to see with this rifle, please leave it in the comment section down below. That way maybe I can address it in an upcoming video. So that's it for the Model 89. Like I said, all in all, I think it's a great gun. I really like it. And that is a problem because now I want one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure and give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're a new subscriber, make sure you hit that little bell at the top. It's going to give you notifications when we upload new videos. Be sure and check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing. And be sure to check us out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can find links to all those in the description down below. Or you can swing over to KentuckyBallistics.com. You'll find all my social media there. And you'll also find links to any of our sponsors, affiliates, and all of our discount codes. I can no longer provide links to websites such as Bighorn Armory, Underwood Ammo, etc. in the description down below because it violates YouTube's new policies. So now if you ever see anything on the channel that you want to check out, maybe see if I have a discount code or two, swing over to KentuckyBallistics.com and you'll find all of that over there. Again, my name is Scott. I really appreciate you watching Kentucky Ballistics and I'll see you